Hey guys, today we're going to go over the differences between a gas motor home and a diesel motor home. Alright, first thing, the biggest thing, price. Typically, a gas motor home is going to run you $60,000 less than an equal diesel motor home. Number two, the engines. In a diesel motor home, you're going to have something like a Cummings engine. 340, 360, 400 horsepower to a gas motor home, you're gonna have a Ford V10 engine and the engine placement. So they call it a diesel pusher because they put the diesel engine in the back and a gas motor home, it's up front where you're driving. It's a little bit more noisy, but never too bad. Now, once you're in the diesel, it's a lot more quiet because your engine's all the way in the back, so it's a lot easier to have a conversation and you have nothing in the way, no dog houses either. When you're driving a gas motor home, it's a bit noisy up front. It's bearable, but it's not too bad. Also, you have a dog house here and then slide outs on the diesel coach. You can have up to four slide outs. Makes the living area a lot more spacious. And that's mostly because the diesel pusher, the chassis can support a lot more weight. Finally, one of the biggest differences between a gas and a diesel motor home is the storage underneath the coach. As you can see with the Fords, they have the straight rail chassis. So you're very limited with how much you can store underneath the coach, but with the diesels, puts it on a raised rail chassis. That's how you're able to have that fantastic underneath storage compartment in that slide out tray. So that was just a few differences between a gas motor home and a diesel motor home. So to answer the question, which one's better, it's really up to who you are, where you are, what you're doing and really what you plan on using the motorhome for. You know, if you uh, if you told me you're a family of five who likes to go on vacations or you like doing local dog shows or this or that, then I'd say, yeah, save the money, get a gas coach, it's perfect for what you need. But if you told me you were going to be full-timing in it, traveling the country, hitting the mountains of Colorado, I would tell you to, you know, step up the money and get a diesel. But other than that, we're all done for the day. We'll see you next video.